and we're delighted to welcome Horace Panter of the Specials on the show. How's it going, Horace? Chris, uh, it's great that you play Gangsters because I reckon that that song was recorded 40 years ago today. I think it was the 6th of January, 1979, that we went in and recorded it. Well, and that's a total fluke as well. I haven't, I haven't planned this. <laughs> no, 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 I know, I know, I know. Because I, I was thinking, I didn't know whether it was the 4th of January or the 6th, but I think it was the 6th of January, and that's today, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. January. Okay, right. Yes, I, I'm sorry. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, yes, very good. Was, yes. What, what, what would you like to know? <laughs> what would I like to know? Well, the new album, Encore, is out in February. What can you tell us about it? It's a new album, it's called Encore, and it's out in February. It's the first sort of specials album, I suppose, um, since um, more specials. I know um, there was the Special AKA album, which was released in 1983, I think, 84. But this is, um, this is the, the, the next album that's actually been to be titled by the specials. Um, since 1980, and it's the first time that Terry Limbaugh and I had been in the studio together since 1981, since we recorded, we recorded Ghost Town. And um, I'm really proud of it. Um, I think it's great. Um, and um, I think it'll um, make a lot of people sit up and take notice. I, I hope so, anyway. Um, and because this year is our 40th anniversary, so um, there's a lot of work going on. So it was, um, it was also done to coincide with that. Yeah, I've noticed, yeah, because you've got the 40th anniversary tour, haven't you? This is this is a very long list of venues. Yes, it starts in Cologne, I think, March 26, and finishes in Toronto, um, back end of June, somewhere. So, yes, I've got the range of 24, 24 UK shows in the middle there. But that's, hey, that, that, that's what we do, that's what the specials were, were known for, for those incendiary live performances, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And the new single, which is out now, Vote For Me, what can you tell us about that? For me, it's a very, you know, you know it's the specials as soon as you hear it, don't you? Ooh, uh, thank you. Yes. Um, I would like to think so. Um, it was a real sort of collaborative piece of music. Uh, it was a bass line that I had. Um, and Terry goes, oh, OK, yes, I think I can put some something to that. Um, and then Nikolai, our keyboard player, who um, co-wrote and who produced the album with us um, thought okay well let's put a um, let's do this middle eight bit and then Terry went it needs an, another bit there so it was, it was great it was it was a real refreshing um, change to write sort of collaboratively where sort of back in the day um, people would you know Jerry as often as not would come along and say okay I've got this song the drums go like this the bass goes like that I want you to sing that like this whereas this was um, this record was done very much on like everyone facing the same direction and everyone's input so you had sort of four people's input to make it sound um, terrific um both for me it's it's i suppose it's about um disenfranchised people i don't know and, and the sort of the, the sort of ennui of the boredom that the contemporary politics sort of um inflicts on us all really I don't get too pessimistic. There's a great, there's a great trombone solo on it as well. So I don't get too pessimistic about it. It's a lovely piece of music. I'm really proud of it. Yeah, it's great. So with this new album, um, you've got ten new tracks on it, and you've also got ten live tracks. Yes, there's the. Well, if you buy the bonus CD, a special limited edition, whatever it is, um, there's some there's some live stuff, which most of which was recorded at the Back of Town in. in Paris um, in 2014, and it, it's kind of a tribute to Brad, um, our drummer, who, who died at um, the end of 2014. Um, and it's, it's loads of live stuff, and there's a couple of things that were taken from the Troxy show, which we did in 2016 with, with Gary Powell and drum. So, what was it like putting this album together? You mentioned that you you all had input, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was joyous, really. Um, because it, it was, it was kind of, I always thought the album should be made like this. You know, um, recording specials albums in the, well, specials in the studio um, weren't, wasn't it, it was sort of a great experience in, in the past, apart from the first album, which was just a lot of fun. Um, so so this, this was really good. Um, everybody was, you know, um, 
of one mind and wanted to make the best music available. There were no agenda, nobody was pulling their faces about anything, and it was just like, right, let's go in and let's work, and everybody, um, you know, just played really good. I mean, that's the thing with sort of this reformed specials. We just surrounded ourselves with these fantastic musicians. And um, it's like, right, okay, play. Just do do your thing. You know, we've got Steve Craddock uh, on guitar, Nikolai, um, Tor Blast on, on keyboards. There's our, our horn section, Tim Smart, Pablo Mendelssohn. And these guys are all, like, top flight um, musos. And um, you can tell. And, you know, um, everybody just, you know, wanted to be there and wanted to play their best. So, I mean, it's, it, it, it's great, really. The best of an awful lot of worlds. And you reformed, and you, you've waited a few years before releasing a new album. Do you think that was a good thing? I think it was, in retrospect, I think it's the best thing we could have done. I mean, we... we, we, we oh, how long have we got, Chris? Yeah, we got a little while, yeah. So, uh, yeah we, we reformed in, in... We thought about all this in 2008, and then got back together in 2009. To, and we thought, well, we just do it for a year. But I was I was a school teacher. I was teaching um, I was teaching art, you know, in in, in school um, um, up until two thousand and eight. And I thought, well, what we what I'll do? We'll take a year off teaching, you know, um, go on tour, be a rock star for a year, you know, um, pay off my mortgage, and then go back and you know and be a school teacher, you know, um, and that'll be that. But the whole thing just sort of snowballed. It, it, you know, it's like wow, you know, we can do this tomorrow. You know, we can go to. Um, we, we can go to America, we can go to Australia, we can go to Mexico, and all that sort of stuff. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, this the other career arrived. Um, so we sort of thought about the idea of, of, of um, recording some um, original material, because it seemed an obvious thing to do. But um, it, was, it, was, it was kind of difficult with the personnel. Um, and then finally, I think in 2014, there were four of us left, and Neville and Ruddy had quit. So there was Brad, Lim Valtteri and I, and we were all facing the same way. We were all of the same opinion. Um, and we actually got together and, and recorded some in like a, some demos in like a, like a little little, record, little rehearsal room. Um, and then Brad died, and that was like, oh, there's a real shock. Um, and it took us like a year and a half to sort of get ourselves back on our feet, and which was kind of like 2017. And we thought, well, okay, we put some feelers out in the music business and they were you know the, the industry was, was kind of interested so we started um, March this March 2018 I was going to say this year I'm still not used to 2019 yet um, um, we, we started in March um, just getting together a couple of days a week and, and write you know seeing if we could you know, write some songs and we did and then we, so we got together to record them um, back end of August and finished um, end of September, so we did the whole thing, um, recording to finish mixing in, in eight weeks. So that's kind of the, that's how it came about. Yeah, great. And uh, are you amazed? I mean, all these years later, I mean, it's the 40th anniversary, and also it's Madness's 40th anniversary this year as well. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. are you amazed? I mean, all these years later, that the specials are as popular as they've ever been. Yes, I think if 40 years ago you just said, guys, in 40 years of time, when you're a pensionable age, you'll still be playing this stuff. Um, I would have probably hit you over the head with something and laughed very loudly. But um, so, yes, I think I think it's incredible uh, and it's really good. Uh, almost like we're, I'm getting more enjoyment out of it now because um, you've got a, you know, an old head on shoulders no, no, no that's not, 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 not really right but I, I can sort of you know sort of look at it differently um, and it's, it's just an enormous amount of fun to still be playing these songs to these people but the material is fantastic it's timeless and, and those rhythms are irresistible you know you don't need me to tell you that do you and is that what, what you think about the genre of the music that you know keeps it going really well yeah obviously yeah. I mean I think with the specials particularly there, there was what we said and, and the, the, the way that we said it, but it was all set to this fantastically danceable music. Yeah, but is it um, free your free your mind and your ass will follow? You know, yeah, that was uh, where we were. Great. Well, it's been lovely to speak to you, Horace, and we're now going to play the single "Vote for Me." And so the album's out in February, right? February the first. Yes. February the first. Great. We'll be getting oh, it on the show. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Best of luck.